Hello, fellow library lover, and welcome to another webinar in which we'll discuss an online database in detail. Today we'll be discussing opposing viewpoints online. That's a Gale product, and that's also known as Cengage. The, uh, the two companies kind of merged a few years ago. In any event, my name is Stuart Schaefer, and I am the head of the reference department at the Farmingdale Public Library. And my contact information is, my email address is fdaleref at nasalibrary.org. And my phone number is 516-249-9090, extension 203. You'll be needing to go to the library's website to view opposing viewpoints online. And you can get to the library's website at farmingdalelibrary.org. So, what actually is opposing viewpoints? According to my notes, it's um, basically current events, overviews, and summaries and opinions on many controversial, interesting, and timely topics. It's a wonderful database for students in grades, oh, I would say six to maybe 12th, 12th grade or so. Um, users will be able to browse the issues, um, the topics, and you'll get pro or con or why the opinion or the viewpoints are either positive or negative. It's a wonderful, wonderful resource. And as you see, I'm sharing my uh, outline of what I'd like to discuss today. Um, you're gonna need your library card to get access to it. And I talk about the current events and the overviews. We're gonna actually do a search for either childcare or some other topics. Um, that are timely. And also, um, we're going to show you how to filter your results. And um, the, we're going to show you how to find news and reference and videos and academic journals and websites and primary sources related to that topic. So without further ado, I'm going to um, change my sharing site since you're looking at my outline right now. And we're going to go to uh, another website, pretty much the library's website. In a second. Okay, here we go. I'm going to, there you go. That's, that's it. Sorry for that little. Uh, snafu, as they say in the trade. So this is the library's website at farmingdalelibrary.org. And we are going to uh, basically um, go to the research tab at the top on the green bar. We're going to go under, uh, let's see, we are going to go to by subject over here. And then we are going to go to dictionaries and encyclopedias. And opposing viewpoints is the first one in this uh, in this uh, subject heading. And basically, it's current event overviews and opinions. We're going to click on the link. And this is when I will need to put in my barcode. And OK. Let us try something else, because I am going to I'm going to type in the uh, the correct URL. And here we go. OK, so the link on the page will be updated shortly. This is the splash page for Gale in context opposing viewpoints. And there's actually quite a bit happening on this page right now. We are just scrolling down. I'm going to show you the search box in a second. But scrolling down allows us to find issues of interest. In this case, there's one about the agriculture industry. If I scroll or if I use the triangle on the right side over here, I can go to another um, issue of interest. In this case, it's uh, air pollution. 
and the next one is conspiracy theories and then the agriculture industry so it's site it's basically just going through three of them further down we have a page where we can browse the various issues they've divided up the issues into various categories it looks like eight of them the first one is business and economics at the top left in the center we have energy and, and environmentalism health and medicine is at the top right over here law and politics is over here in the center on the left the national debate topics is in the center smack in the center here science tech and ethics is over here on the right then we have society and culture and then war and diplomacy i just wanted to show you that all of them it looks like they are updated that's what the red boxes says over here and if we click on business and economics we're going to pull up 128 different topics so everything from 2013 to 2014 national debates 2016 to 17 i don't know what happened to 14 15 but they have topics related to advertising and affordable housing and agriculture industry and all of these different topics sweatshops over here is where i'm highlighting supreme court socialism social media social justice and this is a great way to find a topic uh, that you might want to write about for a term paper in any event um, I'm going to go back to the first page at the top and we're going to do a search for child care. I just typed in child care and if you notice automatic autofill fills in um, the rest of the search for child care, then child care center, child care providers, facilities, center and programs. We're just going to click on the first entry for on child care. This gives you a very nice overview and it was updated i don't know when it was updated at the bottom of the page we'll take a look so this is an overview of it we can read more so this is a fairly long entry about uh, child care this is a sidebar with the main ideas i just highlighted it i'm scrolling down they talk about the types of child care services, the affordability of child care. There are some critical thinking questions. Ongoing reform efforts is another subject heading or, or almost like a chapter, excuse me. And it looks like we have the full text. It was done in 2020. If for your bibliography, you need to create a citation, they have citation creator in MLA 8th edition format, the APA 6th edition format, or the Chicago 17th edition format. Right now, it looks like we are using MLA 8th edition, but if we wanted Chicago, just click on that, and this is what it would look like. That's how you would create it in the Chicago manual style, the 17th edition. So I'm gonna scroll up to the top of the page, you can translate it into a whole bunch of different languages, including Arabic, Bengali, Bulgarian, uh, Dutch, Finnish, French, German, Greek, and so on, Polish, Spanish, Turkish, Urdu, Vietnamese, Ukrainian. You can change the font size. The bigger the font, the less is on the page, so you'll have to scroll more. I'm making it smaller now. You can actually listen to it. You could have someone either download it, you can download it or have them speak it to you. Just click over here and um, they'll actually read it to you. So I'm gonna hide that. You could download it to Google Drive. You could send it to, I believe that's Google Cloud, Microsoft Cloud. This is the Microsoft Cloud link right here. You could email it to yourself you would send it to your address and then it would be from where you're sending it from. Maybe put a little message in over here, up to you. And you can actually, um, I believe, download the article into Adobe Acrobat uh, Reader and it prints out beautifully. So at the top of the page, this is a 1700 word article. It's a level five content level 
and it's a Lexile measure of 1470, which means that's a, a, a way to measure how technically complicated an article is written for students in probably like fourth grade all the way up to 12th grade. The higher the Lexile measure over here, the more complicated, the more sophisticated the article. On the right side, if you wanted to find more articles like this, you could explore right over here. You could find an article, Affordable Child Care is a Failure of Imagination, according to this uh, entry, Caring for Children, or um, you could relate, you could view all the related articles by clicking on this link, which are at the bottom of the page over here. The oldest one is from 1987. That's not particularly useful, but some of the more current ones are um, at the top. 2020, and then 2011, and there's also another one from 2012, Child Care and Elder Care. I highlighted that one for you. At the top of the page, I showed you the citation over here in MLA format, APA or Chicago. Um, you would be able to also export it to Noodle Tools. I don't know what that is, but to Google Drive and OneDrive, you could email it, you could download it, you can print it. That's what I wanted to show you. If I click on print, it will go to my local printer, which you may or may not want to do, up to you, but you have the option. So that's uh, opposing viewpoints. I want to show you a little more about it. Um, we're going to do a search for uh, global warming. And I type in global warming and it populated with global warming and ch climate change or greenhouse gases or pollution. Let's just choose the first choice option. Again, we have our overview. We could read more. But whereas before I just kind of showed you more about the read more and the other choices, I wanted to show you that on this page we have viewpoints and statistics and audio and websites and reference and primary sources and magazines and biographies and images and news and infographics and videos and academic journals. The number in parentheses is the number of particular items attached to that subject. So that means there are 508 viewpoint articles about it. Let's check those out. We have the option to sort them by relevance, by how how accurate, how similar they are to our original search. We can search for the newest articles first, or we can search by document title or by content level. In this case, I want to sort by relevance. And that was the search that they actually started us with. So this is an article titled Climate Change Threatens Small Firms by Emily Atkin from Gale Opposing Viewpoints Online. A Lexile measure of 1130. Let's take a look at this article. This is an article commentary over here in the blue. And this is the article with sort of subject headings. Politics have made the situation work, worse. Bad weather is worsening. And then we have our source citation. Um, we're going to go back to the page. I just want to show you that you can also filter your results. We have 508 viewpoints, but if we wanted to limit by publication date, we can do it from, let's say, um, January 1st, 2019, all the way up to 04, Let's do 05, since 05, 01, 2020, which now means you know when I generated this, and I'm going to um, apply it. So we went from 508 articles all the way down to 14. This is the applied filter right over here, January 1st, 2019 to May 1st, 2020. And I'm going to close that. I want to go back to the 508 viewpoints. Let's say I wanted to filter it by content level. Let's do it by content levels 1101 to all the way up to 1300 from 1301 all the way 
to all the way up to adult reading. So it actually only narrowed it down by 70 or so. We went down from 4, 508 to 5, 432. Let's um, continue filtering it. Let's take away the level four. And now we went down to 170, okay. Let's do it by Lexile measure. That'll be a useful tool. So we're down to 170, all right. Let's um, just look at the first one. To address the climate crisis, we must completely rethink how we produce and consume food. This is from 2019. We have an article, a commentary, again, a failing food system, that's a subject. Chapter, market forces cause increases in production and so on. So, um, I just wanted to briefly show you an advanced search. We're going to do a search for oil as the subject. And I'm going to search by um, place name. Let's try and United States. And so basically the search that we did is for um, oil and the United States. And the viewpoints that we got are eight of them. Any US energy policy should, policy should emphasize offshore drilling from 2010. And then oil national natural gas industry is an essential part of the US economy from 2010. And the third one is from 2006. Oil drilling should be allowed in the Arctic National Wildlife Res Refuge. We have one article in reference over here one in statistics and a whole bunch of images. They're just images of um, oil related issues. And we have two videos. I'll show you the fishermen of the Gulf. I wanna click on play video. This is a third party website. They're kind of giving us a disclaimer over here. Okay, let's go. And it's from PBS and I just want to show you the video quickly. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to close this because I want to go back. Note on the right side, we can explore more articles like this. Fisherman Lodge, Gulf of St. Lawrence rescues, rescuers. We can view all the related articles, but then there are related subjects right over here on the right. Fishers, environmental justice, fishing villages, religious charities, marine pollution, and so on. All of these are clickable and linkable. If you notice the, um, the text color changes, if you hover your mouse over the text, let's click on marine pollution and we're now showing all the content types for marine pollution. Let's look under um, news, 174 articles. Let's do it by um, content level, level five, and we're going to do a Lexile measure of 1300 and above. And so now we have 89 articles Let's sort instead of by relevance by newest. And microfiber is a mighty big problem from 2020, the New York Times. Widespread garbage deposits found in the Bay of Fundy from November 2019, Toronto's Globe and Mail. And uh, so now you can kind of see how we're searching. It's, um, it's a really, really awesome tool that you should uh, definitely, definitely look into. I'm going to click on websites just to see what they're coming up with. The Blue Water Network. It promotes policy changes in government and industry to reduce dependence on fossil fuels and so on. And um, well, it's a great, great, great way to sort search, excuse me. 
So um, I just wanted to show you, we can browse the issues at the top of the page. This is all 476 issues. Um, you can narrow them down if you click on this box just to the right of topics. If you're looking for just, let's say, um, law and politics issues, this is them. There are a lot of them, but it's certainly easier to scroll through them this way than looking through all of them, all 480. There's one on uh, electronic voting. Here it is, the overview for electronic voting. On this page, we have viewpoints, videos, academic journals, and all the other um, featured um, subjects, audio, reference audio websites, statistics, magazines, and so on. So this is um, Gail and Kyle's presentation. I will be posting this to YouTube where you can find other presentations that I've, um, and webinars that I've posted to uh, the Farmingdale Public Library YouTube channel. You can subscribe and um, you, will, uh, you will get to see all the other programs and webinars that I've done on various topics. Um, I plan on doing a whole bunch more, um, posting them usually on Tuesday and Friday nights. If you have any questions about this and any other webinars, please send me an email at fdaleref at nasolibrary.org. And if you have any questions, please, um, please send me an email. And I hope you enjoyed this. Take care and have a great evening.